Go outside. We'll say bye to the cats. Bye, bye kitty. Bye, What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of DDE. We are departing California. We're on our way back, the fam and I, heading back to Canada. And we got Uber, we got return Ryan's McLaren, and trying not to get stung by the bees or whatever love these bananas. I don't know what's going on. All right, I think we're all loaded up. There we go. One thing I love about the McLaren, it's got a cup holder. Lambo don't got that. And we're off. I've had a great time with you, McLaren, but unfortunately it is appropriate to give you back to your rightful owner. Ryan's been amazing. I mean, his whole team, the PFS experience, and uh, yeah, lending me his car. It's been a lot of fun. The flamethrower video that we did, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link down in the description. This thing shoots flames at night, it looked awesome. PFS. So we're going to drop off the Mac, jump in Uber. I got to make my wife and I a couple of coffees. We haven't had coffee this morning, which is no bueno. It doesn't work for us. Give her one last little go. This car is really, really quick. Raise up the nose. Look at those turbos. I love that. Okay. Parker. Park it right here. Get some door envy one last time. And grab my water. One awesome, awesome car. Would I recommend a 570? Absolutely. This thing with uh, some mods, <laughs> yeah, just a few mods, just a few mods. Like a aero kit, the tune from VF, some wheels, custom wrap, I mean, what a beast. Kind of sad I gotta give it back. But I'll be back in a, not even a week, you guys. My car is all ceramic coated. It's getting picked up today from uh, Fly Car Automotive Logistics, and it'll head over to Bobby at Sadistic for air suspension. Look at this guy, he actually comes in early and works every day. Who would have thought that's how you built a successful business? Actual work. Hey, you killed it on the car. Right. Thank you for the Glon ceramic coating. I'll see you on Tuesday. All right, you have a good one. Have a safe trip back. Bye. Right, this, this is why I like Ryan. Lamborghini, Lamborghini. He likes all cars, but he's favoring in here. He's favoring. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's really true, but Logan, later. Peace out. See Jason. You soon. I'll see you on like Tuesday, yep. six days. I'll be back. Um, coffees for the wife and I. She'll be super stoked. And we're out. <laughs> Coffee. Grab those for a sec. Thank you. Okay, guys, next stop LAX. We're just going to make the cutoff for allowable time to get our bags checked in. And uh, we'll be rushing off to the gate. But for now, all I can do is sit and enjoy my coffee. I just spilled it on myself.
guys, you can see all the planes taking off while we're sitting on the tarmac here waiting to taxi. Okay. <laughs> See you guys. What did Presley get? Okay. What did he give you? Whoa! Okay guys, welcome to Seattle International Airport. We're gonna go get some food. Our flight was delayed, the first one we were just on. Now our connecting flight we've missed, so we've been rebooked. We're gonna go get a seat assignment, get a little bit of food. How's your trip been, Presley? Good? The captain of the plane gave you something. He gave you a special car, didn't he? I can't go down the stairs. Okay, I'm gonna race you. Ready? Be careful, be careful, be careful. Yeah. Finally, hey Presley. Yeah. We finally get to go. Three hour layover here in Seattle. It was like delayed, 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 delayed. Finally, we get to go back to the island. Yes. And finally, coffee gets to go. Yeah, we finally get to go on the plane. We're back home, dude. We're back home. Okay, keep going. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Say thank you to the captain. Say thanks to the captain. He flew the plane. Keep going. So thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. See ya. Right, bye. Thanks, Come on, Welcome back to Canada after a couple of weeks. And well, guess what? We got forest fires just like California and it is affecting the sky. It is kind of a hazy orange color. Let us get through customs and we'll continue on with the vlog. Oh, Presley, here we go. We got packages, Dad. You got packages? You We're home, finally. Oh, to be home. Home sweet home. Oh, We had a really long day. Our flight kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed. And then they lost Presley's uh, booster seat. So that was another delay at the airport, over an hour. But we finally made it. They, they have like spare little booster seats because this, this happens. So at least Delta, you were thinking ahead on that one. I'm gonna put the kiddo to bed and then I'll be back to chat with you guys. So speaking of the vlog, we got you guys, these are elite members currently at the moment. We have a new app called Live Rays. And well, we are currently sitting in my home. As you guys saw previously, wifey and I flew back from California with Presley with my daughter. Dave's over What's and up? we are currently in the middle of a Live Rays with our elite members. So this is a brand new app. Guys, I know you're live. I'm explaining on the vlog what's going on. This is a way to basically have better communication with myself and Dave and get your questions answered, but in a much more high tech way because Live Race allows you to play uh, either a 15 second video. Is it 10 or 15? I'll count next time we play one. I think it's 10 <laughs> or something in there yeah. where you can submit a video or just a voice uh, question and it plays live over the entire stream. So here, let's do one. So like right here, we can hit one of those. Dave, hit it. Are you guys ever gonna get a muscle car for DD? All right, so we've got, see, are we ever gonna get a muscle car question? My wife has a 66 Mustang. We could modify that at the moment. We don't have any other plans to get a, a muscle car. Let's play another one. Done. What do you guys like to do in your free time or spare time? I just like to watch anime and just lay down and relax in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, free time. What do you do in your free time? Honestly, you guys, I love DD so much and I love what we're doing that I, it's either with my family or I'm doing this. There's no sports, there's no anything else really. Yeah, I'm the same. Uh, I, free time doesn't exist. We basically work our faces off with DD. There's so much behind the scenes and well, uh, the little bit of free time we have, we're spending it with you guys doing a live stream like this. When are you gonna get uh, DDE stickers on the store? Oh, DDE stickers. So you guys, you can see that was a video and he records himself, so that's super sick. So we're gonna spend some more time with you guys. I'm gonna put the camera down. As you can see, I've been vlogging this. Um, I hope everybody in the future can come over to Live Race 
get on there. It's absolutely free to join. And uh, we'll see you guys on live raves in the future. We're gonna spend the rest of our time with our elite members. And yeah, thanks for watching. Dave, what do you think of today's live awesome. raves? Awesome, live raves was nuts. Watching the videos, hearing the questions, like it felt super engaging, like being on FaceTime. Yeah, so we'll be doing more of this, you guys. Stay tuned, answering all the questions. You guys have a good day. We're out, we're out, we're out. See you guys. Cameras on cameras. <laughs> super exciting. Live race, love it. Can't wait to get more of you guys onto the platform. In the meantime, Dave's here. We are chatting about Monterey. Monterey Car Week is fast approaching. Currently, the Huracan is off with Bobby at Sadistic. It is getting full air suspension set up. Thank you to AccuAir for partnering with DDE and we're excited to show you guys the reveal of that car. He's only got four to five days to complete this. Today's Thursday, you gotta remember, I'm flying back to Los Angeles, Dave and I, Tuesday morning. Tuesday, yeah. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, he has five days. Hammer this out. Now, Monterey, mm -hmm. airbags, this all ties into the trip. Uh, what's the problem we always have? Have you even thought about this? What is the problem we always have with the Huracan? Storage for luggage. Space. Yeah. Where do you think the air tanks are going? In the, in the front trunk. In the front. So, the one place we used to be able to put one of our bags, and Dave already had like, what, three bags on your lap? Yeah. Now you have a fourth bag to worry about. So two <laughs> options, two options. Right. One, we stack everything on your on your lap. You're super uncomfortable. Life sucks. We don't want that for Dave, do we? No, we don't. I have a solution. At least I think I have a solution. It's not perfect. And don't worry, we're not putting a ski box on the car before Monterey. Look. We're not bringing one of these. That's what I usually bring, by the way. And this goes perfectly in the front, okay? That on your lap, no fun, right? No bueno. But remember these from Driver's Gearbox? Yeah. So these are more pliable, even though we can put stuff in them. This is what you brought on um, A Spade Rally. Yep. And I brought this on A Spade Rally, and we lived out of these for how many days? 10 days. 10 days. And Monterey is only five days. Everything I need for Monterey goes in here. Okay. Everything you need for Monterey goes in this one. By the way, these are like carbon fiber. Um, this is all Italian leather and Driver's Gearbox has these made in Italy by hand, like a Gucci product. And uh, almost like an AMG motor is built by one person. Each bag, each best book bag is built by one person start to finish. They're super high quality. You guys always ask us about these bags and until now we haven't really, you know, we wanted to test them. Like no word of a lie. Everything that we tell you guys is good stuff. It's good stuff because we've used it for weeks. We can now say if you are interested in these bags, by the way, we have a very special one coming for the DD people, limited edition. But until then, if you want one of these, you can go to driversgearbox.com. They have bags, they've got shoes, they've got wallets, everything you need. Yeah, so check them out. Link in description to driversgearbox.com. You know, like we, we get nothing in return. They're not paying us mm -hmm. to promote them. We just like their product. They're in works to making a custom DD bag for us. That's all I can kind of say. It's kind of like this. Now, what you guys can see here is this is actually, that's carbon fiber. So carbon fiber and Italian leather. The bag we're having made will be completely made of Italian leather. That's just something I chose. I like that look. It looks very high-end luxury to me. So it's a complete Italian leather bag made uh, by hand and it'll have DDE embo embossing in it. It's gonna be super cool. Limited numbers, oh, and whoever buys those bags when they eventually come out, probably September, you'll be able to, what was it, customize it? It's your initials on there. So they'll actually impose your initials into the bag, into the leather. So Sick. completely custom just for you. Yeah, so like somewhere right up here where this little, where this is, see that, that little patch of leather? We'll have something right here that's daily driven exotics and you'll be able to have your name and everything in there. If you have obviously a crazy car, you want your bag to match, they'll literally make you whatever you want, completely custom. Oh yeah, you can have like anything. custom colors. Anything. Go nuts. Go look at the website, they're crazy. Okay guys, Dave and I just had some meetings. We did some lunch. He had to run back home. He lives about an hour and a half away from where I live. Um, he's on the road. He said goodbye to you guys, but 
what we wanted to do was, Dave was like, hey, why don't you hit up Bobby at Sadistic Ironworks, who's installing the custom AccuAir suspension setup and do a, a FaceTime and maybe see where the car's at. And I was like, yeah, I should do that. And then I thought, why not do that on the vlog? What up, dude? How you doing? I'm doing good. Finally decided, with your help, because you build awesome cars, to go with air suspension. So, what? right? So yeah, you can't bag a Huracan. Yeah, I'm, we're bagging it, baby. So as as you know, you got all the gear there in the car. Where are you at with this? Uh, basically, we're all torn down. You see all the nice AccuWear product right there. The new Indo CVTs. Awesome. All the E-level stuff. So hey, I got a question for you. What's that? So what happens to my frunk space? <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that right now. <laughs> Don't worry, it affects Dave more than it affects me. Oh, okay, then that's good. Then you get no trunk space. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I figured, I said to Dave, I said, you got two options. The luggage goes on your lap or the air tank. Choose one. <laughs> I got some custom things I'm gonna try to do, see if I can get some of that stuff all set up for you to wear. It all sits inside there nice. Sweet. No, I appreciate it. So give us a quick walkthrough. This is AccuAir's product, right? Yeah. We're going to be working with AccuAir. They partnered with us. And uh, thanks to you, Bobby. Thank you for the... Uh, Bobby put in... You guys, Bobby put in some kind words for me so that AccuAir would sponsor DDE. That's how it's going to go down. So huge shout out to them. Uh, it's a product he's been working with that he said is reliable and super safe and it's what I need. So there it is. We got new Indo CVT. Okay. And is this the is this the tank that has the, it's like the tank with the compressor built in? Yeah, got the compressor all set. It actually goes from like this point to that point. It actually takes up almost the entire tank. Amazing. What do you got below there? That looks like my stock suspension. Uh, that's all your stock stuff. Oh, it's already all out. Yeah, it's all out. Oh, can you show us inside the car, like inside where the suspension was? It's all torn out? Yeah, it's all torn out. Let me see if I can flip it over. All right, all right. I had to go through it, you know, blow all the rocks, leaves, <laughs> uh, trees, uh, asphalt, everything else all out of it. <laughs> That's so awesome. I think I got probably about five pounds of that blew out from underneath it. I don't doubt it. Let's go to the rear. Your, uh, your coolers are a little plugged. <laughs> uh, I've, I've been warned about that by, you're the third shop. Well, I'll be the actually probably the only shop that actually will clean it for you. Thank you, I appreciate that. What is our ETA, man? I mean, is this thing gonna be done in time so people can see it at Monterey next week? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I should have this thing together, drivable probably by Monday morning for testing. Monday morning works for me, my friend. Well, I just want to say, I don't want to take up more of your time. I know you're a busy guy. You did, you did me a solid by putting yourself out there and on the vlog. Uh, look, how, look how neat and tidy you got everything on like a, a workbench and everything. I, I bet you that's how you work all the time, right? That was, that was all the years of doing tech articles and magazines. <laughs> well, hey, the Tire Slayer is in good hands. Thanks for your time tonight. And I'll catch up with you in a couple of days and we'll give everybody an update. All right, sounds good. Have a good day, Bobby. Talk to you later. Peace. Well, there you guys have it. What an amazing guy. Shout out to Sadistic Iron Works. Go give this guy a follow on Instagram. I will put a link in the description. Just do me a solid and go follow the dude. If you like custom cars, everything from, he does a lot of supercars. He does luxury European cars. He's bagged that Panamera that we were in when we were out there. Um, he does other custom stuff. He just did this crazy roll cage in an ML63 with a big crazy sound system and it's got air suspension and it had like 24 inch. I mean, this thing was done to the nines. If you guys like custom stuff, go and check him out on Instagram. Just drop him a follow. DD fam will hook him up. And the last thing I want to say in this vlog, I know some of you heard from some of my comments or saw in some of my comments that I was having a little bit of a beef with my boy Houston at Royalty Exotics. Here's what I want to say about that. The beef is squashed. I know a lot of you who, who a lot of you don't know about this, but some of you who knew about it were 
super it caught off guard because I didn't say anything in a video and I, I don't just run and throw stuff online and throw stuff onto the internet. I know that has serious uh, implications, both for trying to repair a relationship because once it's on the internet, it ain't ever coming off. And so I took my time to reflect on it. Houston took his time to reflect on it. We came together, we talk like men and you know what? Houston and I are all good. Houston, you're still my boy. I can't wait to come out and see you in Monterey. Houston and I are gonna get together. We got some epic content coming for you guys. And uh, yeah, you know what? That's some of my advice too for all of you, that if you have something you're going through with someone, whatever type of relationship it is, it doesn't always have to be like you and the wife or you and the girlfriend. You know, your boys are relationships too with people. Anybody you care about, you gotta think, you know, like we're all human, we all make mistakes and Sometimes you just got to go squash that beef. Life's too short. Sometimes you got to let people go too. But in this case, there is way more value in our friendship and also our business relationship that um, it ain't worth the little bit of beef we had. So it's all sorted out. You guys will be making more videos with Royalty Exotics. I can't wait because Houston's a madman and uh, we're a lot alike, which is probably why we butt heads at times. You know, it's like put two yourself in the same room and at some point um, that strong personality is gonna happen. So we're all good. Guys, smash that subscribe button, throw me a thumbs up on this video and I'm kinda done standing in my front room talking to y'all. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.